fudge. Speaking of fudge, Rich forgot to write a toss <laughs> to himself. He forgot to write any notes. We have no idea what he's going to talk about, which I, is kind of dangerous. I didn't forget. I just like fudge. Mm. Uh, oh. I just wanted you to say it again. <laughs> but for now, give me some sugar, baby. I swallow your soul. I swallow your soul. <laughs> swallow this. It's been almost 40 years since the release of the original Evil Dead, and now we're getting another chapter in the Book of the Dead. Evil Dead Rise, it's being called, will be an HBO Max original film. Now, Bruce Campbell has retired the character of Ash Williams, but he is executive producing this film alongside friend and original director Sam Raimi. But I don't know, will it be, even be Evil Dead without Campbell? I guess we'll see. So I see you've all met. So what's this all about, Dom? Yeah, man, why'd you drag us halfway around the world? Because we got a job. I thought it was going to be, he was going to say, for family, because that's pretty much everything. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Fast and Furious franchise and the release of F9, which is killing it overseas, select Megaplex theaters will host one free My Mega Reward loyalty screening of the Fast and Furious movies with Fast Fridays. And since this is the fifth week, Fast Five from 2011 is back in theaters again tomorrow. Now tickets are limited to two free per My Mega Reward account per week while supplies last, and it's free to join the Megaplex uh, Theater's loyalty program, so anyone is eligible to participate. They're doing these Fast Fridays right up until the release date of F9, which is June 25th. Now this footage, uh, I, well, anyway, I had some footage of uh, Marvel Studios' Black Panther behind the scenes story. No, no video. Uh, to the late Chadwick Boseman. Privately, Boseman was battling colon cancer and he died last August at the age of only 43. But now, another much more prestigious tribute, Howard University announced it has named its newly reestablished College of Fine Arts after Boseman, arguably its most famous alum. In a statement published on social media, Boseman's family said, Chad, you exemplify Howard's core values of excellence, leadership, service and truth. There's no one more deserving of such an honor. The family also thanked Walt Disney Company and its chairman, Roger Iger, who will lead the school's fundraising efforts to build a new facility and an endowment. Hmm. Yeah. That's a nice, so, I do nice think that. I know. I think that's yeah. great. Yeah. After Bozeman's death, the petition at Change.org got started asking Howard's president and board of trustees to name the school after Bozeman. They listened to the more than 58,000 signatures. Wow. Okay, so they had support. Yes, absolutely. 